Governor, uh, you've got the, the, the bully pulpit, but you don't have uh, your own designated bill. So tonight, uh, with the uh, permission of these uh, gentlemen, uh, we're going to give you floor privileges and uh, let you uh, uh, name us your governor's bill, or GB1, if, if you will. <laughs> well, uh, as we all know, the big gorillas in the room are pension reform, tax reform, those kind of issues. But setting those aside, uh, First of all, they've made some good selections. I think uh, both of both of those bills uh, need uh, to be passed, and haven't seen all the details of them yet. But they'll be good legislation. I guess if I had a governor's uh, bill number one, it would be raising the dropout age from 16 to 18 in Kentucky. Our kids have been able to drop out of school at age 16 since 1921, I think. And obviously in 1921, and even when I was growing up, and it was past 1921, I'd like to say, uh, you, you could get out and get a good job, support a family and, and everything, even if you may have dropped out at age 16. Those days are gone. They're over. I mean, the starting place now for being successful in this economy that we have in the 21st century is a high school diploma. And that's just the starting place. There's not many jobs out there for folks with just a high school diploma anymore. You gotta go on and get more skills, more training, more education. I think it's a very strong signal we, we need to send to those kids and the parents that this is important. You really need to concentrate on this. Our school systems now have the tools in place. We've got alternative uh, schools. We've got career pathways that, that you can get these kids in, into. You know, most of these kids don't drop out because they can't cut it. They're smart. They drop out because uh, they're not interested. They don't see what good this is going to do me. They don't see the benefit of continuing in school. And if they do, and if we work with those kids and get them in the right kinds of things and get their interest, then they'll be very productive and they're going to end up being productive members of society. So I'm hopeful that we can make some headway on that. What do you see as the, um, as the roadblocks, or at least in past sessions, uh, that have kept uh, that uh, bill from, from being passed? Well, uh, some of the arguments that have been used uh, in good faith uh, have been, uh, well, you're just going to leave these kids in the classroom to disrupt everybody else and, and it'll just disrupt the classroom. And obviously that's not going to happen. That's why you've got career pathways. That's why you've got alternative schools and, and alternative programs because you, you need to find the interest of that child and a way to approach education that pricks their interest. And I've seen that work time and time again. And that doesn't mean every child will be successful, but man oh man, if we can just get 50% more of those kids to finish high school, I'm gonna tell you, you'll see the productivity of this state long term really go up. Um, another area that, that is talked about some is it's somehow an unfunded mandate that we're gonna Is require. there a budgetary concern? Well, there's budgetary concerns, but we've already got those programs in place. To handle it and I'll tell you the real budgetary concern is if we don't do this because these kids drop out studies all show that they're more likely to end up um, uh, in the welfare programs many of them in jail many of them on drugs prescription drug abuse and all the rest of it and uh, that cost us millions of dollars more than whatever it may cost to get these kids to finish school so I'm hopeful that, that as we discuss this more, we can find some common ground and move in that direction. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, uh, your reaction? Uh, we've, we've passed that bill in the House uh, the last two sessions, I believe, Governor. So it's, I think the House will again find it to be uh, receptive, will be receptive to the idea. Senator? Well, I knew this question would be coming up tonight because I felt that was one of the issues the Governor would be most uh, emphatic about going into the session. We have a new young group, uh, as we were talking prior to this bill. We have, uh, I think, 11 new members. Uh, we are very amenable to hearing what the governor wants to put forth in this. I think we all agree that if we're going to make systemic changes in the Commonwealth, it's going to come through education. And this is a component of education and something we're very willing to look at and see what our group and the Senate thinks about and try to work through this and come up with a solution that everybody can live with because we all know uh, as we sit here, this group is, is that education is such a key component for us to be competitive uh, as we come out of this cycle. 